So what's up everyone? Nope, we're not at the wood yard. So what we're doing today, I'm actually at my real job, my nine to five job. Well, I usually start earlier than nine to five, but uh, I'm an electrician. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you even knew that, but today we're gonna be putting in a breaker over here in this Square D power pack panel. Uh, this switch here is, this one here is a 400 amp, it comes off of a generator. Um, we're going to be powering up an IT panel for uh, one of the tenants next door. And we have to plug the breaker into that bus. Here's the breaker, which we'll be plugging in. And these draws or what get plugged in physically to the bus. So this is my first time ever doing it, so why don't you experience it with me? Okay, so let's see if we can get the jaws of this breaker into the bus. So these have to snap into the bus this way, we slide it in, and then we'll lock its position with the back plate here. And then we terminate our connections A, B, and C here. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Uh, I've never done this before. It's my first time in a Square D Power Pack panel. So uh, it'll be a new experience for me and you as well. Okay. So. screwdriver in and you force it to seat it into place. Okay, simple as that. Breaker is installed firmly in the bus and we lock it into firmly in place. Okay, so now we're going to strip the casing off the wire, get it ready to enter into the panel. Cut the outer sheathing. Should be able to pull this right off. Now the casing is off. Now we're ready to enter the wire into the switch gear. Swing the wire in. Okay, so now 
that we've got the wires stripped back. We'll start landing the wires in the spots they have to go. Now this is 480 volt 277 system. So standard wire that we normally buy is black, red, white. So we'll be rephasing those. We see 480 volts as brown, orange, yellow. Uh, 120, 208 as black, red, blue. So this one will be phased brown, orange, yellow as are the other wires in here. So we obviously didn't do these ones, but let's go uh, ground this thing up. Okay, so now that the ground is installed, now we will be attaching the three phases. And we'll be tying it to a 70 amp breaker, which we have number two aluminum. This will be our phase A, we'll label it brown. And by the way, sorry for probably a little background noise. There's two big transformers, I think they're 150 kVA. Yeah, two 150s and they're pretty loud. Anytime we use aluminum wire, we do use a deoxidizing agent, which is called Petrox. Uh, all aluminum wiring, we put it on, you use it on um, copper clad aluminum also. But there's not much copper clad out there anymore. And to save money, we ran aluminum.
Okay, she's fully installed. Wires tied into the 70 amp breaker. Um, so the way I remember 27748 is brown, orange, yellow. It's boy. Um, 12208, black, red, blue. It's easy, verb. So that's installed the breaker and wiring to a breaker in a live 40 volt panel. Yes, it is live. So hopefully you enjoyed a uh, little breaker installation. Um, a little out of the norm for Aaron's yard, but uh, I figured I'd show you a little something which I do on a normal basis uh, five days a week for the company I work for. Um, so if you like this stuff, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below because uh, I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but this was a live panel and uh, yeah, yeah, I have to do a lot of this type of work. Um, I work at a lot of medical facilities and we can't shut the power down. Uh, I should be wearing an arc flash suit, but I'm pretty uh, familiar with doing this type of work. So, like I said, subscribe, like, shoot a comment. See you on the next one.